What is up everyone, it's your boy Jay, and welcome to another episode of Canon Culture, the show where we take everything that in entertainment and we give it, you know, a light, nice little commentary, give a little few opinions, maybe solutions, and teach a couple lessons along the way. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm a little sick, if you guys can't tell, but I still managed to somehow get it all together and make a video for today, some type of video. Um, so over the weekend, we actually had uh, Cat Williams, who was on K107 with, uh, well, it was Wanda, and I forget who her partner's name is. Now, I've, I've, I've never heard of this radio station before, um, only because, you know, I exclusively listen to ones here on the West Coast, not including The Breakfast Club and, uh, you know, what, what's uh, Sway and um, Ebro. So aside from, you know, those specific shows, I have never really, I'm not really diverse in that many radio shows, but now I, I obviously want to get a little bit more researched on them because I'm sure there's probably dozens of interviews floating around with multiple celebrities that I would like to hear from. But this week specifically, we're talking about Cat Williams. Now, um, as an aspiring comedian, uh, I would have to say that him kind of airing out all this stuff... Uh, now, if you guys listen to the interview, which I will include a link down below, it's it's not a very long interview, and uh, I would have to say the amount of things that he says during this interview. Now, if you're a fan of Tiffany Haddish, I want you to know that this is probably not something that you're gonna watch. You're gonna want to watch at all. Um, I personally am a fan of Tiffany Haddish. I think she's hilarious. I love everything that she does. She's a great personality, which cannot be said for I would say Cat Williams, but. I mean, you know, he's allowed to say whatever he wants to say, and he decided to throw shade this week and say several things that I, I personally don't agree with. Uh, <laughs> now, specifically with him saying uh, that Tiffany Haddish has never proved herself on tour, you know, she can't tell jokes for an hour. I, I, I don't know about all that. I, I feel like Tiffany Haddish coming from a stand-up background, I think she really, she probably, she probably really can tell jokes. I don't think... Just because Cat Williams says it does not make it like in, it does not put it in stone. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. You know, and I just, I just feel like for him to air out all this shit just on this show and for him to treat Wanda, the host of this show, the way that he did was just. I'm not I'm not saying I'm coming from a place of being soft or anything, but this was just mad disrespectful. Like I'm I'm one with the jokes and everything. Like it's cool, you know, you clown around with the host of a show or whatever. But the, the pure malice that this man had for this woman, like I could tell he was joking around or whatever, but she was seriously getting ticked off about it. Like he just would not participate in a proper interview, which once again they invited him on the show. They should have known what they were going to get into. I mean, you know, there should have been a, at least a conversation beforehand. Like, hey, Kat, we would like to talk about this. We would like to talk about that, this, that, and the other thing. But I, I don't know. I, like, at a certain point, it's just like you can't do certain things. Get, but given he has earned the right to do these things, uh, you know, he is one of the most popular comedians of all time. I, I think he, he's extremely successful. He says he's never had any partners or backing or anything like that he's never had to take out a loan this that and the other thing which is great that's fine and dandy you can stand on your own two feet but you know you can you could be rich for the sake of being rich but i mean if if it was me i would not want to work with somebody like this just just the pure arrogance that this man carries with himself uh for himself excuse me is just downright like why why are you like this like nobody wants to be around somebody with this much negative energy to throw around like he may not have been saying any of these things from a negative place or out of malice but it's definitely perceived that way like you know even for him to say that you know tiffany haddish passed up 26 other female comics that he knows personally and it's just like i i don't understand why this is i, I don't understand how this is something that that you could just sound you're coming from a position of sounding like a hater like 
yes, these 27 other female comics do exist. Yes, they have been working day in and day out. Yes, they are extremely hardworking, but they're not Tiffany Haddish, and everybody is is different. Like, And then for him to go in on, on Lil Rel and for him to say what he did, it's just like, you was wrong for that, bro. You was mad messy about that shit. So I, I'm just... I'm not really vibing with Cat Williams. Like, he's never been one of my, like, all-time favorite comedians and stuff like that. Like, when I was growing up, Cat Williams was not somebody that was spoken about in our home only because, you know, like, we would watch his special on TV one night, and then we would go right back to talking about the Chappelle show the next day. So, and I'm not saying that's, like, Cat Williams isn't funny. He's just not my brand of, of funny. Like, I just don't find Cat Williams comedy, like, it's not for me. Um, actually, you know what? I wouldn't even go as far to say that. I would say Cat Williams is just, at this point in time, I, I just don't want to have anything to do with Cat Williams just because I know he does things the way he does things. Like, does that make him not funny? No, he's absolutely funny. Uh, I'm not about to say that he's not. You know, everybody finds a certain amount of funny to be funny. But then there's also people out there who don't think Kevin Hart is funny, which I think is, is outrageous. But, you know, everybody has their own taste, and comedy is subjective. If, if it's funny to you, it's funny to you. Uh, if it's not, it's not. So I just I just don't find Cat Williams to be funny like that just because, you know, I just don't. Like, it's just he's just a person I don't vibe with. That kind of almost leads me into something else I wanted to talk about on another video was Nicki Minaj. Like, I, I just prefer Cardi over Nicki the same way I prefer you know, a bunch of other comedians over Cat Williams just because I know the way she carries herself, her attitude, the way she responds to people, like, she's very condescending, like, like, yes, you have earned your throne, you have earned the spot that you have, but that doesn't mean you gotta be an asshole while you carry it, like, nobody wants to work with negative energy, like, nobody wants to work around that, like, yeah, Cat Williams may be able to give people jobs or, you know, like start up a movie and have no fun, you know, and not have to receive outside funding and stuff like that. But, you know, that's all that's all extra gamble, because what if your movie sucks? What if your what if your content's not funny? What if your songs aren't great? What if your album doesn't slap? What if somebody else's thing comes out on the exact same day? But because you didn't you necessarily didn't have to come out of pocket. I mean, you necessarily had to come out of pocket. Like, nobody backed you. Nobody, like, helped you put all your stuff out there. Like, you could always do more. You know, there's always, always two things can be true and always more things can be done. Yeah, you don't have to take a studio's money in order to, you know, market a film or get a film made or something like that or a movie or a comedy special or anything or a concert or, you know, a tour. You could fund all that yourself. But wouldn't you rather fund it all yourself and have some extra help i'm just saying more is better that's all i'm saying and for the place with nikki like i feel like nikki just she just carries herself in such a way and says certain things that i just don't agree with like the way that she talks down to people like when i was listening to her on queen radio these past two weeks and you know responding to the different things going on with cardi and you know everybody comparing her to you know travis scott and the sales and everything like that i'm like you know, you're winning. Why are you why are you being such a dick? Like I don't I don't understand this. Like you are making millions and millions of dollars. It's not like you're struggling like just take your W. Like com in comparison to a lot of people who don't even have something to eat. Not even that. Just people with regular day jobs that wish they could pursue their dream of like being a music producer or a musical artist or a comedian or anything of that sort. Like, you are in a position that you are constantly winning. How do you think somebody in the number five charts feel? Like, yes, Astro World came out and was way more popular than yours. Like, and then when you dropped Queen, it was like, oh, number two. What's wrong with number two? Like, who had number five? I don't even know. All I know is Travis Scott had the number one album this year. That's it. That's all I know. And all I know is that Nicki Minaj was whining about having number two. I don't see an issue. You know, you don't see Drake complaining. Drake is just like his Scorpion's not number one anymore. Like he's got a lot of number one hits from Scorpio or Scorpion. That's what it is. Yes. Excuse me. Scorpion. But, you know, he, he had his little his, his little time, his little window. So did Cardi. So did everyone else. So for you to sit here and be like, oh, well, you know, Travis Scott bundled all of this, that and the other girl, stop being a sore winner. You're good. Like, you just tripping just to trip. 
Don't even worry about it. You still got millions of dollars in the bank account. You still getting paid. You still touring the world. You're still going out and meeting fans. People still love you. Like it's not it's not an issue. Now I'm not a fan of you. Like I've just I, it's just something about Nicki Minaj. Like I just don't I just don't vibe with Nicki Minaj. Like when I look at her, I just see this like very uppity, condescending. Like I'm about to show out for these white people type of chick, which is great. You can you can you can be you. That's if that's you, that's you. But I just like Cardi more because I feel like Cardi's an actual person. Like, I feel like I would want to have a conversation with Cardi. Like, Cardi is somebody, like, I would love to hang out with. Nikki, I don't, I don't know. I, I just feel like Nikki will just make me feel bad about all the stupid decisions I've ever made in my life. You know, shit like that. You know, whereas Cardi is just like, you know, it's no big deal. Like, let's go get fucked up. Like, you know, like, Cardi just seems like somebody I would want to party with. Like, I want to hang out. I want to have as my friend. Nikki is just like, please perform your song and leave. So, but that's just the way I feel. But let me know you guys' comments. Uh, this has been your boy, Jay. I'll catch you guys next time.